85 year old male presented with high femur dense vitreous hemorrhage and total retinal detachment with subretinal hemorrhage to begin the infusion was placed in the anterior chamber to drain out high femur anterior vitreous was removed and it was made sure that the infusion cannula was in vitreous cavity vitrectomy with base excision was done special care is taken while removing vitreous in these cases as it is hard to differentiate it from underlying detached retina total retinal detachment with massive subretinal hemorrhage was seen once the vitreous opacities were clear Endodiathermy was done in the temporal peripheral retina in order to perform a large drainage retinectomy. Initially, the bulk of subretinal blood was aspirated through a small retinotomy using a brush needle. This prevents overspill of blood in the vitreous cavity, thus obscuring the view. Retinectomy is then extended, and the retina is flipped to reveal the subretinal space. Remaining subretinal blood is then removed slowly using backflush needle. Large clots are removed using vitreous cutter. One needs to be patient and remove as much blood as possible. This may sometimes take a lot of time and multiple attempts are needed for complete removal. Once sufficient amount of blood is removed, then retina is flattened using perfluorocarbon liquid. Anterior blood clots and the peripheral retina can be excised at this stage. Fold on the retina was straightened using a soft tip backflush. Endolaser was done around retinal breaks and a 360 degree barrage laser was done to peripheral retina. A direct PFCL silicon oil exchange was performed. Four months post operator, the retina was attached and the visual acuity had improved to 6 by 36. Silicon oil was removed at this stage. Three months after removal of silicon oil, the visual acuity improved further to 6 by 18.